Well, it was all under the guise of urban renewal, but I think it was because the Truman Library was put where it was. And if you stood on the portico, the front porch of the Truman Library and looked uh, south, right across 24 Highway, there was the neck. And truly, the neck was an eyesore, you know, and uh, there were some houses that were just not what any world dignitaries would want to see if they came to the library. So uh, some of us still refer to it as urban removal because it, it put a lot of families in really a conundrum. Where were they gonna move to if they wanted to stay in independence? There were white neighborhoods that did not want them there. And um, some of them that lived in some rental property, uh, didn't own a home, they were kind of forced to go down to Hawker Heights, you know, the housing establishment down on Truman Road. And then um, my nanny, who I live with, we moved out to North Spring Street, and uh, she just was kind of moved out of her natural habitat, and some of them died shortly after they moved into my nanny didn't live for four months. She moved out in September and she died December the 6th in this neighborhood that, you know, we didn't know if we were wanted or not. But then that had a lot, lot of positive reactions too, because there were some good neighbors there, along with some bad ones, like in any neighborhood. Because it, it put a lot of families in really a conundrum. Where were they gonna to move to if they wanted to stay in independence? There were white neighborhoods that did not want them there. By uh, being brought up right, being having good morals and virtues down there in my neighborhood, and I learned to love myself and be proud of what I did have, and uh, was able, when integration came in, you know, I was able to speak and communicate on the level with the, the white children that I went to school with. And, and um, having that as a, a past um, just really, I think, made me stronger. And I knew there was a better time, you know, but we had a good time. We didn't really know what, what uh, separate was, you know, except when we would go uptown and um, couldn't eat or go to theaters or anything else with the whites until when I began seventh grade. And consequently, the class of William Chrisman uh, from the year 1962, that was the year I graduated. And uh, class of 465, five were blacks, and they are still, the, the white uh, students that I went to school with, we're still close friends. Mm -hmm.